Breaking news. Please stand by for another. C2C World News Now current event. They look happy here, but bear this in mind. A year from now, some of these kids will be gone. But it's not only bombing raids that the war-torn city suffers from. These children you're seeing here of my shoulder have got one thing in common. They've all got cancer. Many of them are dying from forms of a disease that's perfectly treatable elsewhere if caught in time. It's not the case in Aleppo, as Murad Gazdi has been finding out. Selling cancer medicine to Syria is a criminal act, thanks to European and American sanctions or any other life-saving drugs too, for the matter, or even medical equipment, and children are dying for it. They're brave, and they'll need to be. Of the roughly 200 children with cancer in Aleppo, 30 have died, and only nine have survived the disease. Almost all the children who've died of cancer have done so because of European sanctions. We asked the European Union and humanitarian agencies to lift the sanctions and let cancer medicine in because children are suffering. For four years, Europe has ignored those pleas, and the casualties among the innocent are mounting. This is three-year-old Wafa. She had eye cancer. They could have treated it, but Western sanctions made getting the medicine impossible. And the only hospital that specialized in cancer in Aleppo, Kindi Hospital, was taken by rebels and destroyed in fighting. They had to amputate her eye. But she's fine now. She lived. Many other kids won't. For a year, she lived with an empty eye socket until this organization, Cancer Care Syria, saved enough money to buy her a new one. It changed her life. She said, look at me, I have my second eye. Now nobody will stare at me strangely. CCS doesn't get international grants or media headlines. They don't boast. They just save and enhance lives as best they can. They look happy here, but bear this in mind. A year from now, some of these kids will be gone. Morad Gazdiev, Ati, in Aleppo. This has been a C2C World News Now current event. Stay safe, everyone.